So right now, to clarify, if you if you, if a homeowner buys a new sofa or whatever from Robin Stuckey and then moves the old one out, you take the old one out. It, yes, that, we, that's what will get donated, and that's what you will give the one hundred dollar voucher for. Absolutely, and okay. and the part that that we think maybe could be helpful to people. It's it's not easy to move a sofa. So even if you are in the mood to donate something, it's difficult to get the thing out of your house. You, you know, there need to be people who can yeah. pick it up and move it around for you. And so that's what we are expert at. Our our delivery teams are just and stellar. And Trish, you, you folks do that too, don't you? Do, do you go to homes and pick up? Because I know like Goodwill and Salvation yep. Army and all those folks do the same thing. You have your own trucks and somebody we calls sure and says, hey, I want to donate a mm-hmm. sofa or a bed or whatever. You yeah. go get it. Yep. And, and those trucks are the ones that show up at Robin's Ducky <laughs> twice a week. And, you know, I've met those guys and they're really good guys. And so, you know, we're we're all in this together. All right. And, and Sonny, I'm so glad Sonny Lubner called. She's a great gal and uh, had the opportunity to work with her a little bit uh, ago. And uh, she's a real delight. And uh, it's great to it's great great to have stuck around in this community for so long as I have to see the corporate mentality realize that we are all in this together, as you say, mm-hmm. and we all have to help each other. And and I think that's the um, you know I, I have my own photography business and I go to a lot of events, especially business events and so forth. And, Some of ours. And too. I'm yes, and I and I have I hear something today that I. I did not hear a year ago, and that is CEOs and PR people and everyone saying, we have to help each other. Mm -hmm. We have to buy local. We have to hire local people instead of farming things out to Los Angeles and Chicago Mm -hmm. and Miami just because they're in Los Angeles and Chicago and Miami. Let's keep local folks in business because they're going to keep us in business down the line. So I I think everybody is helping everybody out here. And I think uh, Robin Stuckey, along with a lot of other corporations in southwest Florida, are great examples of of what we need to do in this economy to help each other survive. And from uh, uh, Ryan, from a strictly uh, public relations point of view, uh, I know that the Robin Stuckey folks as employees love getting involved in this sort of thing. I've met you folks, I've worked with you, and just recently on the uh, the hunger program that we did here at uh, on Connect, um, I had the pleasure of working with uh, Chef Christina Sanfilippo and just couldn't wait to dive into this program that we had for her. Absolutely, no. I think uh, Robin Stuckey as a community, as a corporation, and as uh, employees and um, residents of Southwest Florida love getting involved and giving back to uh, Southwest Florida. All right, let's talk to uh, Rhonda. Let me see if I can find you, Rhonda. Help me, Rhonda. Help me. There you go. <laughs> Rhonda, go ahead with your question. Hi, this is another question in the tree hugger department. Um, we are <laughs> in the pro- <laughs> we're in the process of uh, demolishing an older home in favor of building a, um, a new energy efficient home. And it's not in bad condition, the one that we're demolishing. Can Habitat uh, salvage any of the materials, and this would warm my heart in in favor of recycling some you're, of these you're getting, windows door. You're getting thumbs up all around the table here for, for your comment. You go, girl. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, the really great thing about our, our thrift store um, that we have available, even if we cannot use the pieces that you have available in our own homes, we can use it in our thrift store. And, you know, not every thrift store can sell building materials and uh, we are one of the very few in the area and so if you've got pieces if we can't use it to build on our own homes we're going to put it in our thrift store sell it and that money in turn generates income for our to build new homes so that would definitely be used what do you need to what do you need in terms of lead time for coming in and um, say i'm going to demolish in two weeks would that give you enough time to come in and um, pull out whatever components are useful Absolutely. You give us a week and we'll we'll get a schedule together. If, if you call us tomorrow and uh, and say, hey, I want a group to come out here, we'll get out there by the end of the week and we'll be able to take an assessment and grab what we can. And uh, that should give you enough time, right? Uh, yeah. Very mm-hmm. good. Well, then right. it sounds like a deal. All right. Do you have a pen and pencil handy, Rhonda? Do you have the uh, number? Um, no, actually, I'll go online when I get home. Okay. I'm, in, I'm on the road. All right. Habitatforhumanity.org. Gotcha. Thank you. And, and they'll take care of you. Thanks a lot. That's a great offer. We sincerely appreciate it. We're getting uh, we're getting help from all over the place today. This is awesome. Let me talk to uh, Lynn and Lehigh Acres. Go ahead. Hello, Lynn. Hi, Tricia. Hi, Tricia. This is Lynn. 
my question is, how do you decide where to build or buy your home and which one a family will move into? Oh, wow. I just had this question, like, not very long ago, I, and it was almost verbatim. Um, the, the, actually, where we're at building homes is all around Lake County, and we only get the uh, properties based on if we can get it donated or if we can get it at a good price. And the other thing that you, the other question you asked is about our homeowners, where we're going to put our homeowners um, as far as what address they can be assigned. And that's basically um, just just first come first serve if a homeowner comes into our program and says i want a home in lehigh acres we're just going to give them the first address that's available that our volunteers have finished up and um and and that's the way that we we go about in doing that that answer your question very good all right thanks a lot lynn we we appreciate your question thanks for calling in we've got another caller who's been holding on for a while you folks are really patient today i appreciate it david on fort myers beach go ahead oh good afternoon uh, my question is, with uh, with regard to the homeowner, is there any requirements or follow-up on the homeowners? And the reason I ask this is because of the stigma that's associated with the low-income housing and uh, how they always get run down and usually torn down in the communities. And I'll take my comments and answers off air please thank you all right thanks a lot david we appreciate the call trish what about that do you do any follow-up with homeowners to see if they're keeping the homes up are they treating them as nicely as you would hope great question because i actually get this question quite a bit when i'm out and about in the community um you know once our homeowners receive their mortgage with habitat we allow them to be a traditional homeowner meaning they all they their relationship is with us now is to pay that mortgage um you go to any other mortgage company and that company is not um going back and forth with the homeowner and checking up on them and seeing how things are going what they're there for is to collect the payment each month and that's basically what we become Um, to our homeowners once uh, they go through the program and receive that mortgage. The great thing about Habitat, you know, if if a homeowner gets into a bind, they can't make a payment because they lost a job this month, we say, come in, talk to us, we'll sit down at the table and we'll develop a schedule that will get you back on track with paying your mortgage. So that's a little bit different in our mortgage uh, department versus any other mortgage company. But really, that's the only difference. Um, We did come up with an interesting concept um, to help with that stigma um, that folks have with low-income housing and um, and what uh, folks perceive as maybe the homes or the properties get trashed or the, the, the lawns don't get mowed or things like that. We came up with a program, and what it is, it's actually a contest each quarter that we do. It's called Curb Appeal. And uh, we put out our family newsletter, and we tell our families, every family that actually has a mortgage with us gets this, this newsletter, and we say, you know what, we're out and about, and uh, we're scouting out the neighborhoods, and we're taking pictures of your houses. And uh, the winner of that, uh, their their property looks, you know, well kept um, and and put together. The winner of that each quarter gets a hundred dollar uh, gift card to Home Depot, and um, that was something that you know we had gift cards that we got as rewards for spending money with Home Depot. Of course, we're buying ma- building materials, and we said, what are we going to use these gift cards for? Sure, we could buy more building materials. Let's give them back to the homeowners. Let's put them in a contest. The best looking home is going to get a hundred dollar gift card to Home Depot. And um, it's really turned out great. I mean, if you look at some of the properties out there, they just look gorgeous. And the the beauty of this circumstance, and one of the reasons why we in the community care so much about supporting Habitat for Humanity, is that you're not giving things away. You're not in a circumstance where you're just saying, oh, gee, here, you can have this house. You're making people understand the value of the home. You're making them work for the home. You're making them have some skin in the game, mm-hmm. lots of skin in the game. And if you are, are blessed enough to be able to end up owning a home because you were you were uh, committed enough to work for it, then one would assume that you are, are in a much better frame of mind to keep it in good shape. And I think this goes back to the difference uh, uh, that we've talked about in the hunger situation and, and several other situations. These are This is a hand up, not a hand out. And the, the word stigma comes up a lot, mainly because I bring it up, um, because I know the, the social mindset sometimes of a lot of people, especially with the hunger situation. But in this situation, Teresa, I, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but do you feel any any hesitation? Do you have any kind of a stigma associated with getting into a Habitat for Humanity home? Or are you pretty proud about this? 